buy yourself a field monitor or you're gonna buy yourself a field recorder. Try to catch me howling at the moon. basic difference between the two is the field monitor only allows you to see your composition and obviously assist you with ensuring that things are in focus, giving you a larger real estate in order for you to be able to work better. With the field recorder, it allows you to record footage directly onto the recorder as well, as well as then a field recorder has the ability to show it in RAW as well and ProRes RAW and so forth. So there's all of those types of capabilities available to you. I'm not going to go into all of the technical aspects regarding it as well. In order for the work that you are going to do, you need to determine which one best suits your specific needs. If it is that you just need bigger real estate or bigger screen in order for you to see exactly what you're going to do, a field monitor is what you're going to need. This one is the Voltrox DC702 4K. Now, Voltrox has many other models available. I've been using this one for a couple of years already and there's only one small thing about it that I actually don't like but I'll get into that a little later. I've also been using the Atomos Ninja 5 also for a couple of years so I have both of these obviously based on the scenario and place I want to want to do. Um, I have a multiple camera setup so I utilize both of these recorders and at least I know with one I have additional space should I be recording in high quality raw footage then I know that I have additional two terabytes of space here that I can use as well as I have the capability of shooting in log in log whatever the case may be recording directly on here I, with my Nikon I can also record in in log whereas I cannot do it directly in camera so those are some of the some of the scenarios that I would specifically use it for you need to think about is it going to be beneficial for me to spend the additional money in order for me to get the recorder rather than only a field monitor so the Voltrox has HDMI out and HDMI in. It also has DC in. You can either connect it onto power or alternatively you can connect it onto battery. Both these devices uses the normal MPF batteries. MPFs are 577, 7970s. I can pop them into any one of the two and it will work perfectly fine. There's multiple batteries available on market. You don't still need to worry about trying to find batteries because they are popular. They are very popular. You can get them quite easily. Now this one obviously it doesn't have the recording capability so there's no additional hard drive on there which means that from a weight perspective this is lighter so even if this is a 7 inch screen with a battery compared to the 5 inch screen with a battery the Voltrox one is a lot lighter than the Atomos one because the Atomos one has this additional external recording mechanism on there the device itself is built a lot sturdier so this is almost like a metal framework that is on here, whereas your Voltrox is completely plastic. And just your back cover here is plastic. So from a weight perspective, this one is a lot weightier. It only has mountain screws on the top and at the bottom. So another thing between the two is the Voltrox does not have a touchscreen, whereas the Atomos does have a touchscreen. So everything that you do here is all touch based, which is a lot easier to move, to maneuver than with the Voltrox one. With the Voltrox one, because everything is done on the left hand side over here, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult in order for you to get through the menu and to navigate through the menu. Both of them has focus peaking capability, so you will see exactly when you are in focus. So determining between the two, the advantages of having an external recorder is you have the capability of, report, of recording ProRes or 4K directly onto the recorder. It gives you a little bit more storage space in order for you to use. Say you do run out of space on your SD card that is currently in camera. You're compensating with the fact that it is a lot heavier. So you're going to need to accommodate for that as well as your gear setup is going to be a lot heavier than currently with the, with the World Talk. I'll provide links in the description for both of these as well as the newer counterparts so that you can just go and look a little bit more into them. Do you need a field monitor? Do you need a field recorder? Or do you need both? Or don't you need it at all? This is not a necessity. It is a want to need it type of thing. Majority of the content creators, videographers and filmmakers that is currently out there they make do without making use of a field monitor or recorder. 
and just use a 3.2 inch LCD screen that is at the back of their cameras in order for them to operate. Atomos has also come out, came out with Ninja Phone which is a new attachment that goes onto your iPhone and that converts your iPhone into a actual field recorder. So which one do you think would be best for you? Field recorder, field monitor, do you have both? Do you need it? Do you want it? Watch your verdict. Thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like and subscribe. It will definitely assist towards supporting this channel and help this channel grow. And yeah, I'll see you again in the next video.